Hello aviators, my name is Chris Palmer. I am a master CFI here at my flight school in Homer, Alaska called Angle of Attack. And you're here on the Angle of Attack flight training channel on YouTube. We have an interesting opportunity today. I have a student I've been working with, his name is Bergen, and we go out on a day where the weather just isn't that great in terms of the wind and things and he gets some really incredible crosswind and rough air practice. And then we experiment with the airplane a little bit in different flap settings. So let's roll the intro and I'll tell you more about it on the other side. Okay folks, thanks for being here. My name is Chris Palmer once again and I really like these types of videos because I just get to do my thing as a flight instructor, teaching Bergen in this case. He's a student pilot and he's been working on his solo and this is a cool opportunity to get up in rough air, less than ideal conditions and still learn how to fly the airplane in those rougher conditions. You really have to have more authority in these cases. Things are moving a little bit faster, more instinctual to put the airplane where you want it. And I just feel like this process is really cool. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go out in the airplane. You guys get to be a fly on the cockpit wall, watch the whole process as we go throughout this lesson and see what it's like. So let's head out to the airplane and I'll see you guys there. Clear. <laughs> stay on center line or if you get off center line you owe me five bucks uh, you can have five bucks in my wallet okay. <laughs> come on homer radius skyhawk november 2423 uniform sitting short runway 22 bravo information echo holding short I'm a 2423 uniform, home of radio traffic is a metro liner, short final landing, runway 22. 23 uniform. That's one of those things, like you have to get the whole short verbiage right, so people understand. Yeah. Because this line is very serious. And it, like here, eh, like she's not going to get on your case, right? Yeah. But if you're at Kenai, they will be like, you're what? You're what short? Like. They'll be annoying about it, because they have to. All right, let's go. Homer traffic, 2304, back taxi, runway 22. Homer traffic, helicopter 945, uniform, one five to the east, to the south ramp, Homer. I got the little UPS truck. Homer traffic 23 and a form on the roll runway 22, staying in traffic. All right, get that power in. Pretty good crosswind. Yeah. Remember that one time you said 12 times it was a lot nicer today? I do remember that. I might be mistaken. It looked nicer from the ground. Well, it's 21, it's 21 miles per hour up here. Wind. <laughs> oh, lovely. Homer traffic, 2 3 and 4, I'm downwind to base, runway 2 2. This uh, crosswind is probably going to be a little bit more deliberate and noticeable today. And it's coming from the right. Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be some good crosswind work for sure. I can already see the sock on the left, you see it? Uh, sock line left, yeah, I see it. 
So get that crab established. You got a pretty nice glide angle now. You got a little too much speed. Okay, get yourself nice and trimmed, good. Got a little crab angle, you see that? Yeah. Just fly it outside, because that's all it's gonna be. Keep flying her down, good job. Uh, all right, align the nose and pull the aileron. Thank you. That's it. See how I was fighting for it to get to keep that nose on and yeah, and then I was just like testing a little bit here and there and yeah, hey, cool. Yep, aileron into the wind, like all the way, all all that you need. Yep. Good, yep. I think I lost my five bucks. <laughs> there you go. Homer radio, uh, two, three, and a four. What's your current wind? I'm a two, three, and a four wind, two, four, zero at one, zero, gusts one, five. That's the two minute average. Thanks. Cool, dude. And you thought today was going to be easy. I did. I'm not going to. Oh. I thought today was going to be nice and. I mean, look how gray it is out here, like it's starting to come in. Yeah. I was hopeful. This is fun, man. Good job with that power. Really good doing fantastic. They pull that power out. Little alignment with the runway, a little aileron. Woo! And you want to finish into the wind. That aileron into the wind is really important. You see how our wing got really wobbly? Yeah. And that will just stop that wind from being able to throw us over. Okay. And you want to do your takeoff this way too. And once the once the airplane is shooting through the air and finally has some authority on the controls and some penetration energy, then you can start relaxing it a little bit, okay? Okay. You can fill that out on takeoff. There you go, you can relax it. See how that was a little too much now? There you go. Fantastic. We're gonna make a real pilot out of you, buddy. I hope so. Okay, so this next time, we're gonna try um, we're gonna try approaching a little bit faster, uh, and we're just gonna do one notch of flaps. One notch. Because basically, we're getting those gusts of wind that are picking us up, and we want this airplane to quit flying sooner. That means slightly faster approach speed, and we'll touch down a little bit quicker. Okay. Uh, because that time I didn't like how much it was like acting upon us when we were in the flare. Like I, I just want to set the wheels down. Yeah, understood. Homer traffic two three and four. I'm downwind to base runway two two. So should I not pull pull? Homer well, radio trans will have to do it. You can. You can still because we still got to get down. But you're not going to do your second notch of flaps. Uh, I'll put your clearance bank you probably need request. more Speaking power inputs because we're not going to be relying on the flaps so much to hold us. Homer radio, it's going to be a 025 60 foot rock with echo for 22. Copy, trans northern, getting ready to leave and 23 uniform, sounds like they're in the pattern. It's going to be a 025 Homer radio, Roger, that's my only own track. So we can that. also go around. That's like, I want to keep clear, that's always an option. Yeah. If it just gets way too squirrely. Can we try to land further down the runway? No, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I kind of think not, honestly. Cause those, those takeoffs were a little gnarly. Okay, so we're at 90, that's probably a little fast, but let's just test this out. It's not gonna hurt us. You see how much better we're slicing through the air? Yeah. Okay, here we are. We're deliberately keeping this airplane where we want it to fly. Homer radio system seven zero. And we're just gonna kinda set it down sooner. Ready to 
and finish. South will be southeast bound. Maybe get on the brakes just a little bit. That went a lot better. I thought that went a lot better. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and clean up your controls. I control. Remember, aileron into the wind to start. And let's go. Are you enjoying this video and want to learn more? We have an entire library of structured videos on angleofattack.com. We call this online ground school and it's how you'll ace the written test required by the FAA. It's go at your own pace and all accessible right now on any device. Go check it out yourself or recommend it to your friends. Now back to the video. Traffic 23 in a form, base runway 22. With uh, Foxtrot. Homer traffic 23 in a form, base to final 22. Traffic, you're watching. Homer traffic 23 in a form, base to final 22. You think I talked over someone and they can hear me? Yeah, but our radio call is like super important because we're turning final. Yeah. So that's why I kept like, no, we need to talk, we need to talk. <laughs> I had no real radio. Okay, so a little fast, but test that out. I thought the little fast worked well last time. We wouldn't want to get up near 100. So that's just a little more pitch, probably at this point. Full idle. Okay. Possibly thinking about around if it doesn't. And now we're going to get below this tree layer. It's probably going to help us out a little bit. Looking down the runway, we got that extra speed. Keep it up, keep it up. Yep, good flare, good flare. Keep her a little more aligned. Pull, pull, a little bit. Okay, and finish. And sometimes you can pull the airplane over yourself. So that's why I say you have those brakes, just to make sure we can slow down. Okay, let's go. Going. You did you get, did most of that one. That was really good. Okay, let's go. We gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Full power. Full power. There you go. Yep. There you go. Getting her off. That was a good takeoff. That was your best one yet. Homer traffic, November uh, 2 3 4 base, sorry. Upwind to downwind to base, runway 2 2. Good, man, I like it. I like rough. it, I like it. That was rough. I like the frustration in your voice, too. I get that power back, really back, because we want to keep it, I was, keep the speed under control still. That was still really rough. So your, your approaches, no flaps, will be a lot more shallow. Oh, so like kind of. And your stall speed will be higher, so it makes sense to have that extra speed. So what should I be aiming for? Uh, About 90-ish. 90-ish. Just feel it out though, because we're already at 90. It feels okay to me. We got plenty of runway, so we can start working her down. Good, good. Making sure that wind doesn't pick yeah, us up. Traffic Turbo Beaver is uh, five to the west along the shore. We'll be over flying at 15 to join. I kind of worked. Uh, out of, that worked pretty well, I think. That worked pretty well. Let's do it again. Again. Healer on. Feel that. I didn't even have to say anything, it reminded you itself. And now you can start relaxing it and flying her off. Pull back, pull back, she's ready to fly, there you go. Our traffic 2 3 inform downwind to base, runway 2-2. Keep a little bit more speed since we're no flaps. Yeah, I'm to and you can just do that nose down. That's fine too. 
They're kind of foggy. Yeah, rain starting to rain. Let's do this and one more and let's see how that goes. Okay, yeah. again, that power is going to have to be coming in now. Now we're at 100. As we turn this corner, we're going into the wind. 2, 3, and a 4, and final 2, 2. Hang on, hang on. Keep it coordinated. Are you guys uh, touch and go or full stop there? Touch and go. Okay, yep, a little too fast. Is your power in? Uh, out. Okay. That was a bit lovely, Chris. <laughs> okay. Slow her down. Oh, we're driving probably over left base to two. Okay, your controls. My controls. There you go, aileron input. All right, let her go. Okay, good, 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 good. Peel her off. Peel her off. Good. Woohoo! Eehaw! Hummer traffic 2 3 and 4 I'm downwind to base, runway 2 2. Um, traffic fever's clear, you do. job on that rudder, keep everything coordinated. It's tempting when you have a big gust to just pull it over, but we still gotta keep it coordinated. Okay, this is feeling really nice this time so far. One more traffic, two, three, and four, and final two, two, landing long. Ish. Not really. Okay, good. I like the power reduction. Want a little bit more pitch out of this. Get that crab right. Okay. This feels good right here. X Rick goes up to 23.6. I got Fox trying to see. Here we go. Coming down. Number 756 X Rick on the radio, traffic is a hold Cessna close traffic it. around yours, the two and uh, Beaver may be taxiing over there on the lake, I'm okay. not sure. So we're slowing yeah, down a little bit, adding that aileron into the wind. Cool. And now we're just going to roll out. Now, we're not going to go fast like we usually do. We're going to take it easy. Like this speed's fine right here, which is a little bit faster than we taxi over there, right? But it's not, it's not so fast that we'd lift off with a gust of wind. I guess that's what I'm saying. Uh, well, I think that was good. You think? Yeah, I do. Okay, I believe you. I think it was good practice to see what those situations are like, trying the different flap settings. I really like the, pr the takeoff practice we got because that really showed you why those aileron inputs are important. Yeah. And now when you go and do a five knot crosswind, right, you'll just do it a little bit instead of that much, but it kind of teaches you, teaches you the extreme of one end. And then I, I think you did a really well maintaining stable approaches, which is just huge, huge, huge. Maintaining those stable approaches with no flaps, with a little bit of flaps. So all that is quality, quality work. So when we turn in here, what's your aileron plan? Making a head. Switch to the other side. Okay, cool. Now, the wind right now isn't so strong that like, we really need to be so deliberate in what we're doing, but I still really like building this habit right now. Cause man, again, when I came in here that one time and it was 40, I really had to be careful. Like I was at like a walking pace, had my aileron in the wind, I had to really think ahead. So you never want to be out there and trapped and not have the tools to make it work. Okay, I hope you guys really enjoyed that process there with Bergen. I thought that Bergen did a great job. We really got those takeoffs down in the crosswind 
and we really got some of those landings down. So really happy to see that, offer that experience to a student pilot who can then, you know, just keep building and keep building toward that goal of being a professional pilot. So thank you for being here. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to stick around. I know a lot of you are watching these videos without being subscribed, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing in the future. Thank you for being here, fly safe, and until next time, throttle on.